Well, let me go over the uh, vocabulary and introduce the exercises and uh, do a little drilling. Gives you a bunch of stative verbs. Zakane, to be old, to grow old. And then as an adjective, it means old or elder. And then yakol, to be able. Literally here, it is able, perfect. With preposition la, yakol la x means to prevail over x. And so uh, you have that idiom. Yare means to be afraid. Thought of a space alien with a ray gun, and yare scares me. Uh, and then uh, uh, kaved um, is here, it is heavy or important. Uh, but then it can be an adjective meaning heavy as well. And then malay uh, means uh, here, it is full or filled. And uh, it can have implied uh, in, in the verb the idea of of, to be filled with, or to be filled of, whatever the thing you're filling it with. And then uh, uh, shakab is not a stated verb, but it means to lie down or to recline. He gives you the imperfect uh, yishkav, it has an a vowel. Uh, it's an A-class uh, imperfect. Nouns, uh, you have the word dam, which means uh, blood or blood guiltiness. And then you have uh, year ah, which is related, related to your ray to be afraid. So uh, your ray to be afraid. And then you have a noun form, uh, year ah, fear or reverence. And then uh, kali is vessel or utensil, uh, kind of an irregular plural, kalim, with a sere. And then the other forms he introduces are interrogatives. You have uh, interrogative hey, uh, which shows up either as a uh, with a segol under it, a pata under it, or a hataf pata. Uh, but it all means the same thing. It means that. Uh, if you introduce a sentence with the uh, ha attached to the first word, uh, that would be a way of saying the whole sentence is a question. And then lama, which is uh, actually preposition la attached to ma. Lama means why or wherefore. Uh, again, tends to introduce questions. And then ma is uh, what. And uh, Generally, it'll double the next letter if it's uh, easily double, if it's not a guttural or resh. So that's uh, the vocabulary. As far as exercises, you uh, are given some practice in uh, interrogatives and the vocabulary and stative to translate things into Hebrew. Don't have a whole lot to add to what's here. And uh, then you have some sentences, most of which will have statives uh, that you are uh, to translate as well. So if you have a form like, uh, and, and then it says parse whatever verb, verbal forms uh, you have. So uh, the first one is kaveda ha milhama. And uh, milhama is uh, the battle. And then uh, uh, Kaveda is uh, a verb, it's a cal uh, perfect third feminine singular. Uh, the battle is heavy. So that's uh, how you do the first one and on down the list. Let me uh, spend the rest of our time uh, doing some supplemental exercises, again, to help give you the idea. Again, this is from David Clemens, uh, Supplemental Exercises. So uh, you begin with the uh, Yishma'u Kol HaKalelim Mayim. And so uh, you have a verb, Cal Imperfect, third, um, masculine plural, 
and then you have uh, kol uh, ha kelim. Kelim is the irregular plural of kali vessel. So all the vessels, and then the verb means to be full of. Uh, all the vessels were uh, will be full of, and then mayim water. Uh, all the vessels will be full of water. Uh, the next one. Lama yeretem me hakohen hasadik. And notice I read it as a question because it is a question. Lama means why. Yeretem is you masculine plural. Why are you afraid me hakohen of the priest? Literally from the priest, but uh, you translate it. Uh, why are you afraid of the priest? What priest? The righteous priest. Why are you afraid of the righteous priest? Number three, kavadu uh, ha avanim me ha avadim ha ele. And uh, here you have uh, avadim, which is the plural of evan uh, stone. Avanim is the plural of evan stone. So the stones, and then kaved means to be heavy. The stones are heavy, uh, and then you have may meaning from, and then ha the article the, uh, and then uh, avadim is the plural of evid, uh, 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 evid servant. So uh, the servants, from the servants, and then ha'ele would be uh, the these ones. And so what it means is these stones are heavy from these servants. But this is what is called the comparative men, preposition men, uh, which... Uh, the noon tried to assimilate into the hay, but bounced back and ended up uh, lengthening the vowel and said, uh, but it means that uh, these stones are too heavy for these servants. Um, again, a, a use of the comparative men. Uh, the next one uh, is halaku uh, hanashim vaitish. Uh, kavna michutz la'ir. It begins with a verb in the perfect, halak, to go. So halaku uh, would mean they went, but then it gives the subject, hanashim. The women went or walked. And then uh, here you have a vav consecutive followed by a preterite or imperfect. Uh, from Shekav to uh, sit or dwell. So the women went and they uh, dwelt. Uh, the form is either uh, 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 Cal imperfect, uh, uh, second feminine plural, or second fem uh, third feminine plural. Uh, but here the subject is clearly Nashim, and so it has to be third feminine plural. So the women went and they sat or dwelt, uh, mehuts from the outside of or outside of ha'ir with regard to the city. So they uh, sat or dwelt outside the city. Uh, notice uh, kind of a compound preposition from outside with regard to preposition la, uh, the city. Uh, number five, uh, Atazakanta, you are old, and uh, here you have zakanta. That's a verb in the perfect, with a ta ending. So that already has the idea of a uh, second masculine singular uh, in, inherent in the, in the verb. So adding the pronoun makes it emphatic. Uh, you yourself are old, or, or you are old. You do it by tone of voice. You are old. Ubaneka uh, and your son, lo yara'u et Adonai, and your son 
does not fear the Lord or Yahweh. So again, you have a couple of verbs. Uh, here you have one in the perfect, calperfect, um, second uh, masculine singular, and here you have a calperfect again from yare to be afraid, um, uh, uh, third common plural. Uh, the next one, number six, is uh, yakolnu, uh, ve o yavenu ki elo hayik imanu. And uh, yakolnu is a, a cal perfect first common plural from yakol to be able. And so we are or could be were able with regard to our enemies, o yevenu, uh, o yev enemy in the plural with a suffix. But uh, to be able with regard to means to prevail over. We prevailed over our enemies. Why? Key, because uh, Elohayik. Uh, your God, uh, Imanu, was with us. Uh, interestingly enough, the you here is a you feminine singular. So uh, the person being addressed must be a lady. Uh, the next one. Hatim maru lahem et yaldekem. Here you have a verb, tish karu, which means, uh, in itself, it would mean you will sell or would you sell. But then it has a hey with a hataf pata in front of it, which indicates that this whole sentence is a interrogative. It's the interrogative hey, uh, so it's a question. And so, will you sell or would you sell uh, lahem to them et uh, yaldechem, uh, your children? Would you sell to them your children? Hopefully the answer to that is no, although desperately poor people did sell their children uh, into servitude. Number eight, ma'ata uh, do Rashim ba artsam. Uh, and uh, ma is a interrogative word. Uh, what? So ma ata, what are you? Uh, you masculine plural, atem. Uh, do Rashim, what are you? Darash means to seek. That's a participle, masculine plural. Cal participle, masculine plural. What are you seeking? Ba in uh, artsam, that's eretz, uh, land, uh, plus uh, suffix am, their land. What are you seeking in their land? Move on to the next one, number nine. He amara laka ki timsa et. Kaleka begins again with a hey interrogative attached to a verb in the perfect third feminine singular, Amar to say. And so it is, uh, by itself it would be she said, but to turn it into a question, you'd have to translate it Did she say, Laka, to you, Ki? That, uh, uh, team sa, you would find probably better than you will find. Did she say to you that you would find at uh, uh, Keleka uh, your vessels? Did she say to you that you would find your uh, vessels? Number ten. Hello, Yizkor at. Dam Yashavav. Will he not remember the blood of his upright ones? Haholakim, the ones walking bare, 
uh, Yerato in his uh, reverence are the ones who walk in fear of him.